Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Wesley, uh, or Vintwix, my character name. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Arc DPS installed. And if you don't know what Arc DPS is, uh, it's essentially a way to track and manage like the statistics that your character is outputting, the damage, um, you know, the, the healing, the uh, well, maybe not healing, but the 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 buffs that you provide. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of track it all right here up in this like chart here. And then there's also a way, you know, to have it logged so you can like have it in a, a, a folder on your computer and be able to go back and, and, you know, basically archive that, which is cool. So, um, yeah, it's, it's basically just like a, a way to measure your, uh, your overall performance and, you know, measure other people's because if you're in a squad or party, this will work as well. And, uh, you know, my suggestion is don't, don't use it to judge people or be like, okay, this dude's DPS sucks. Use it as kind of a way to just like know how you're, you're doing in contrast to the other players, you know? Um, and it's kind of a, a tool to gauge, you know, your performance overall. That's, that's how, you know, I, I kind of use it. So, uh, to give you a brief rundown, actually, I want to show you how it works. Uh, this right here is going to be your uh, overall damage on the the character or on the uh, on the enemy. So that's basically uh, how much health the last enemy I had that they had. I mean, the last enemy had that I took out. So basically, had thirteen thousand six six hundred there. Um, this is going to be damage per second. So that I did four thousand six hundred twenty seven damage per second, and this is going to be how much of that fight it recorded. So a hundred percent of the battle it did record. Um, with me and that enemy. Uh, now, if you go over my name, you can see the top skills that I use, uh, the top targets, and uh, just all, all kinds of stats. And there's a lot more stuff you can do with this. This is just like what I have on. I didn't want to like make it too complicated. But I'll, I'll show you how to get all this the easy way, all this installed the easy way, um, as well as uh, leave all links down below to you know give you an easy way to get them. And, and this should be the, the fastest method for you to get this installed. So let's go ahead and uh, just quickly kill an enemy. And I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Like, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. Um, not a lot, but a few. I've seen a few videos on YouTube, you know, describing this. But none of them were actually, you know, really that that well done, in my opinion. I felt like they were kind of over overcomplicated. And, like, they just made it seem like it was, like, some some crazy, you know, IT geek thing. You know, some kind of process that you have to be smart with coding or something. No, it's, it's really easy. So, let's go ahead and kill this. You'll see how it works. So, just watch that bar up there. Oh god, we're hitting some lag. But as you can see, I just hit 5,787 DPS there. Uh, 23,000. These things have 23,000 health each. So, yeah, these things are, are, are very, definitely pretty powerful. Uh, and you'll see, uh, like, right there. I just hit, um, let's see here. So, yeah, hitting about uh, an average of uh, near 5,000. 5, Let's keep trying here. Okay, right there we hit a 8,361. That's not bad at all. So it's a way to kind of measure your performance. And, uh, you know, it's it's not all the time 100% accurate. Like, you can never be sure this is 100% accurate. But it's it for the most part it is. So let's go ahead and jump into how to get it installed, guys. And, uh, yeah, everything else with it. Okay, guys, so the first step is you're going to want to come to this website here, uh, deltaconnected.com. Um, like I said, the links will be down below, so it may be easiest just to follow the link in the description. Uh, if you want to do it manually, you can either type this into your browser search bar up here, or you can just type in Guild Wars 2 DPS meter, and it should be one of the first options to come up, if not the, the very first. So here is the uh, very here it is right here. We're just going to click on deltaconnected.com. And uh, when you come to the website here, uh, it, it's not the prettiest looking website, but it just kind of, you know, gives you a nice rundown of, of you know, what it what it's about, how to install it. Uh, of course, they have to give like this this statement up here saying it's not supported by ArenaNet, but ArenaNet, you know, doesn't have a problem with it and they're not going to ban you for it. Like they've they've accepted it. They're they're accepting of it. So, uh, yeah, but it's, it's a third party tool. It's not supported by ArenaNet. So uh, it's a good idea to read over all this information just to know what you're know what it's you know what you're working with here. But uh, yeah, you don't really have to read about, you know, how to install it, I guess, if you come to the website, because I'm already going to you know be showing you right now visually how to do that. So. Essentially, what you're going to do is save the d3d9.dll, which is an extension file, into Guild Wars 2 install directory bin64. Um, and it sounds complicated, you know, for maybe to some people that don't really know, you know, c computer programming and file locations, all that stuff. But it's really not, and I'll, I'll show you how easy it is. So... Uh, first, st first step is yeah, we got to download this folder here, the extension folder. And what we're gonna do for that is uh, you go all the way to the bottom of the page here to download x x64 current. So we're gonna left click on that, and uh, once we left click on that, you'll get you'll come up to this index here, and you'll have the dll right here, and then 
two other, you know, things under here. Don't worry about these two right here. Just do this first one, the D3D9.dll. So left click on that. It will say it can harm your computer, but it won't. It's just recognizing the extension as a, a, as a possibility. It, you know, it could be a virus, but it's not. So hit keep. And then you're going to left click right here and show in folder and it should install to your downloads unless you have you like, you know, downloading stuff from, from Chrome or whatever, you know, search engine you're using uh, to a, or, you know, web browser you're using to a different folder. So it should come right here to downloads. So uh, there it is in our downloads folder. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to want to copy this into the uh, bin 64. Uh, which is located under the Guild Wars 2 directory folder. So um, that's really easy to do. Just leave this open and you're going to want to pull up a separate file explorer here. So right click there and then hit file explorer. Now, um, it could be different for, you know, for you guys, uh, for some of you guys, but for the most part, you know, you should have that uh, Guild Wars 2 directory folder under program files. And in that case, it's under my C drive. So we're going to hit program files here. We're going to hit Guild Wars 2. And uh, we're gonna hit bin 64. So you want your pathway to look like this. You want to go from you know program files or wherever it starts at. It should be under there though. Guild Wars 2 and then bin 64. And once you have that bin 64 pulled up, you're going to come to your downloads and you're just going to left click and drag this D3D9 into the bin 64. It doesn't matter where you drop it in there. Just drop it in there. It'll copy and then you will be ready for the next step, which is you know getting the the different presets and you know things with the the DPS meter set up inside Guild Wars, but I, I didn't. I don't know if I said this at the beginning of the video, but make sure you do not have Guild Wars 2 open while you're doing this, because it could crash the game. It could cause some other problem. I should have said that. And I'll, I'll try to put a a you know, warning, you know, somewhere text-wise at the start of that. But yeah, let's jump to the next part, guys. Oh yeah, one thing to help anybody that cannot seem to find the Guild Wars 2 file, which shouldn't be hard to find, it should be under program files, but if for some reason it's not, all you have to do is come down here to start, type in Guild Wars 2, and you should see it pull up the desktop application here or the shortcut. You're just going to right click on that and open file location. Now this will bring up this page here, and uh, now to just to get to that other Guild Wars file that you're looking for, the Guild Wars 2 you know, folder, you're going to right click on the shortcut and then you're going to right click open file location. And as you can see, that brings you to the executive file here for the application. Um, and there has been 64 right there. So that's if you can't seem to find it, that should solve that issue. OK, guys, so when you first load up your character selection screen here, um, you know, after putting in the 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 extension file into the bin 64, uh, you should have this options window here. Now, if you don't, um, there's one you know option I could think of that that may, that may be the problem. Um, go ahead and if you don't have that up, do Alt Shift and T. That's a hotkey, so it'll turn that off and on. It'll basically minimize it. Um, and also, you know, there's going to be a bunch of different hotkeys. So I'll try to put like a, a screenshot of the hotkeys for this for this uh, extension up here somewhere. So I'll try to put that there because it's good to know the hotkey so you can just quickly access stuff. But uh, yeah, you should have this options window um, right here. Um, and you'll see, so we start with windows here. These are gonna be the different, you know, things you can have on in game, the UI essentially showing you these stats. Uh, interface, you know, I didn't really change anything with interface or extra, so I wouldn't really mess with those. I just left them on default. But logging, I did do a couple of things too. Um, and uh, we'll get to that in one second, logging. So uh, first things first, uh, windows, uh, just give a brief description of each. Area stats is going to be how much DPS you and your squad or, you know, group or party um, is outputting. Um, so in each individual member of that that party. So like, uh, let's say you're in a fractal and you're taking on a boss. This will, you know, this will show like how much DPS each individual person is doing. You can kind of gauge like how your DPS is compared to the rest of them. And uh, you can also kind of just like, um, you know, if you're struggling with that boss, you'll know it, it, and you look up here and it's low DPS like as a whole for the party you'll you'll kind of know that that make the connection that's why you guys are struggling to take the boss down so it's not always the the reason why you can't take a boss down but in a lot of cases it can be um if it's a really tough boss so uh buffs this is going to show you like all the buffs that are going on each person as well like kind of like the area stats but just for buffs like might fury that sort of stuff so if you're a character that buffs a lot um, like my character does, I just don't have it on. 
Um, it'll show like all of those buffs and all the information, you know, the stats for that on screen. So that's, that's cool to have on as well. And uh, self stats, this is going to be like area stats just for yourself, but it's going to show a couple of additional things as well, like the, the healing, it's going to show your, your barrier, basically the shield on you before you your health starts, you know, depleting. So uh, if you want those additional stats, you can have self stats on, um, you know, to just show you, kind of give you just some more information about how you're performing. Self skills, uh, this is actually one I, I have on, you know, other than area stats. I had self stats on, you know, just for the video. I just want to show you guys like what these all look like, but you know, you can have any of these on. There's no re restriction on how many of these you can have on. Um, you just don't want to look too cluttered, of course. But uh, self skills, this is going to show you like what skills are performing the best, how many skills you're using. Uh, this is really good to have on, you know, just if you have a, a build that you're, you're kind of just wanting to perfect or get close to perfection and you want to just know what skills are performing great and if any are performing bad i mean it won't show well here on self skills so that's good to have on as well shows you the damage output for those metrics it's going to show you the fps you know the performance of your game um you know frame rate that that sort of stuff so uh yeah this this is good to have too if you don't have a you know ex an external metrics already on which uh, I do here I have the MSI afterburner one it shows you actually more information the GPU memory CPU that sort of stuff so uh, yeah log um, you really don't need this on this is one I actually would not suggest to have on unless you really want it uh, essentially it just brings up like you'll see here it brings up a log um, and this log right here well actually I could oh yeah yeah so it's not gonna show this other stuff it'll, it'll show the log though um, the log essentially, you know, is just going to show you, uh, you know, when you're attacking stuff, like just a shark, for example, you know, it's going to show you how much he hit you for, uh, the, the stuff on you, the conditions like bleeding and uh, that sort of stuff. But you don't need this on because it's going to be logging if you have, you know, it's set for arc, set for on for this logging here. It's going to be logging for you to like a specific folder on your computer. Um, and that's going to be for bosses. You don't need all these other, in, you know, enemies on for just, it doesn't make sense. So once you get past uh, all that, you can kind of choose what you want on those. Um, come down to logging and uh, you're going to want, if you want logging on, so if you want it to be archiving, you want to have uh, three of these on. So you want to have save EVTC logs after encounters checked, lock target to encounter NPC check and use NPC name in EVTC save path. Uh, once you have those three on, it will go to a default folder and I'll, I don't know the exact folder by name. Um, I'll show you like a, another another screenshot. There's gonna be some screenshots in this video, that's for sure. Uh, another screenshot of like the, the, the location for the default folder. But uh, yeah, that will be where those, you know, boss encounters are logged. It'll show you like the damage you're outputting on it. Your, your, just your overall performance kind of archived and you can look at it down the road and compare it to like, uh, you know, another one, another, you know, another character performing at the same, on the same boss. So uh, yeah, you can, there are ways to change the location, but it's, it just, it's additional steps that will make this video too long. So, uh, enough, I've been talking a lot, enough with the talking, let's, let's just put on a uh, self stats and buffs. I just want to show you like what you can, like how it looks with all those on in the UI. And like I said, all shift and T turns off that annoying windows menu. You don't want on during the battle. Um, so yeah, when you get in here, okay, let's get out of the water first. We're swimming. We're Michael Phelps. Okay, here we go. So, um, yeah, when you get into the, the, the actual game here, you'll see all these different, you know, menu options on now, the ones that you checked on, um, buffs, you know, this, like I said, it's going to show you like fury hits. Uh, it shows you like all the hits with it. Um, you know, the minimum average, all that stuff. You can like move these anywhere, which is nice. So if you want to put buffs down here, you can have it here. Uh, self stats. I mean, you can like move this stuff anywhere you want. So self stats could be over here, or you can just have them all kind of you know organized at up here at the top. So like if you want to have it like that. I mean, you could you could do that if you want, but uh, yeah, like and if you don't want any on anymore. So if you want to take buffs off, just hit that X and you can take that off. And the only ones I really want on here are like uh, I'll just show you I'll just show you self stats on while I attack something. Just show you all these working at the same time. And then we'll jump jump to quickly to the uh, getting the automatic downloads. So you have like the uh, or the yeah the automatic updates. You know that you that it doesn't even say anything on the website about the automatic updates because it's not like an official thing. But uh, it basically, if you don't have the automatic updates on, you're gonna have to go. You know, every time they do an update for the game, you're gonna have to go back and you know take out take out that old file, get the new one, and reinstall the file. Uh, you know, put, move the file back into that bin 64. Uh, because, uh, yeah, they're, they're, when, when they do updates, they make changes to the DPI, the damage, all that stuff. 
and uh, you're just gonna wanna, you know, make sure you have that stuff up to date so you're getting accurate readings. So I'll show you how to do that. We just killed this veteran crab, and as you can see, it did show self stats right there okay it did show photon blitz was my most damaging skill and uh it showed my dps uh, not not terrible but not great so uh, let's go ahead and jump to the automatic um you know automatic update how to do that and then uh we'll be done with this video guys so i hope this has helped okay guys so i was actually wrong about the website not saying anything about the auto update it does say under how do i install update or un or uninstall it no official update exists or auto update exists but you know there are solutions um so yeah if you click right here uh sol on the solutions exist it'll bring you to reddit right here uh, this is automatically update arc dps so you want to click on that and when you click on automatically update arc dps of course you'll have some information you want to make sure you have windows 10 um you know if you don't have power, if you if you d didn't download PowerShell 5, you know, it comes with Windows 10. But if you don't have Windows 10, you have one of these, you'll have to download PowerShell 5. So just uh, check your Windows version. And if you have 10, you know, you'll be good. You won't have to worry about that. Um, now, you'll you'll come down here and you'll actually go, you'll see here, it says to name this file update arc dps.cmd. Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, when I downloaded this, it actually already was named that. So you're going to click on the link here github.com and this is like the script right here so the script for the auto update uh you'll go ahead and click download zip and when you when you hit download zip it will download the zip fo file you'll want to show in folder and uh, what you want to do this is very simple of course you're going to archive or you're going to extract the zip folder so you're going to right click on it and you'll need a zip you know a, a zip program to uh, unzip this um, which you know the one I use is pzip. So if you don't have a zip file pro a, a zip folder, God, my I'm been talking a lot. A zipper. We'll just say a zipper. <laughs> um, I'll leave the link for pzip down below in the description as well. So there's gonna be a lot of links down there. Be sure to check out the description because uh, you know all everything useful and needed will be down there. So you want to hit extract here. I mean you can hit a lot of those different options, but this is the easiest. So just hit extract here. It'll make the you know a file right here, a file folder. And uh, once again, you'll just go back to where that fi that file was. So bring up a file explorer, or that folder was. So bring up file explorer. Go to your uh, yeah where where your Guild Wars folder is located, Guild Wars two. And you're not going to go into build bin sixty four. You're actually just going to simply drag this one, you know the the uh, the auto update folder here, over to the uh, the Guild Wars two file. And you're just going to drop it inside Guild Wars two. And then uh, you'll have uh, auto updates. So you won't have to worry about, you know, manually going in and uh, changing this, you know, updating the, the the file yourself, deleting the old one, downloading the new version. It's you won't have to go through all that effort. You'll just it'll do it. You know, every time there's an update, it'll do it automatically for you. So that's nice. Um, so, yeah, guys, let's jump to the the uh, the last portion of this video and then we'll be done. Okay, and just to show you guys one more example of the of the uh, DPS output of, of my character here, um, we're going to go ahead and take on this champion, Sand Lion. And I mean, I'm probably, who knows, I could die from this, but uh, it's worth just giving it a try, you know, who knows, this thing looks pretty powerful, so... <laughs> We're just, uh, as you can see right now, I'm outputting an average of uh, a really good right there. If you watch the top bar there, it's a 13,000 roughly DPS. So this is a high DPS class right here, um, the, the Hollow Smith. It really, like like I said, it really depends on what kind of skills you have, what kind of class you're playing, your build. Um, there's a lot of factors that go into it. And like I said, DPS is not everything. You know, there's a lot that goes into, like you see my DPS kind of falls there. And it's, it's there. there's just, it's not... The, the most important stat in the entire game like like a lot of people will lead you to believe there's a lot of stuff that goes into it oh uh, god we're just trying to survive here um yeah there's a lot of stuff that goes into it but i feel like uh it is you know still an important stat regardless so it's good to know it's good to be able to measure how much you're outputting and this might be the end of me oh god yeah we overheated but uh, as you got i mean yeah it, this is a champion like it was not going to be an easy fight this is made for like multiple people so uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to, like I said, leave a like if, if you enjoyed, subscribe. It, it really means a lot. It really helps the channel. And uh, share it out with your friends, you know, if they're interested in also getting this, if they've been wondering how to do it. This video, hopefully, it was, you know, very helpful. So have a good one, guys, and I'll catch you later.